Hey kids, it's Pastor Kevin here. I'm in a plane. I'm so excited to see you guys today. We're gonna have so much fun. Whew. Sorry, it's kind of loud back here. All right, kids, it's time to worship. Let's jump in. God for who he is and what he's done. Now let's worship. Wonderful. 
We play in the airplane. I pull him in the wagon. We play in the sandbox. We swing on the swing. We go on the tater totter. We play on our bump beds. We race. We ride our bikes. We water the garden. <laughs> Being a big brother is so much fun. God is always with you. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And hey, I am home alone. Yeah, my mom had to take my brother to the doctor and she said I could stay home by myself. And I'm not afraid at all. Um, well, this is this is like my second time being home alone. The first time I was home alone, um, I was really scared because I kept hearing sounds in the house. You know, the house would like creak and stuff. And I thought that maybe there was somebody else in the house with me, like a monster or something. And I was really afraid. I was really scared to be alone. But I remembered something. I am never alone. And neither are you. No, because God is always with us. Yeah, God says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. God is always with us. You know, Satan really wants us to feel like we're all alone. Yeah, even if there's people around, Satan wants us to believe that we're alone. But we're never alone. God is always with us. Satan wants us to feel alone because he wants us to feel afraid. And he also wants us to feel alone because he wants us to feel like we can get away with doing bad stuff. But neither is true. God is always with us. I think that as people, 
We are most tempted sometimes to sin when we think that we can get away with it. Like we're more likely to do something bad if we think that we won't get caught. I know that's how I feel sometimes. Sometimes I, I do something bad and, and I think I think I'll get away with it. But really the thing is, God is always with us. So there's nothing we can do that God doesn't know about. And so knowing that God is always with us can give us courage. It can give us strength to do what we need to do and to know that we are not alone and that we've got God by our side. But also knowing that God is always with us can help us to do the right thing and to not do the bad thing that we think we might get away with. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would live your life like God is with you, because he is, and that you would allow his presence to make you brave and strong, but also to help keep you honest and to help keep you leading down the right path, because you are never alone. Wasn't that an awesome message from Douglas? Never forget that God loves us and he will never, ever, ever leave us, kids. We will never be alone. Let's go ahead and pray. God, we thank you so much. Thank you that you love us and that you will never leave us. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today was great. I'm sure happy the way that message landed. Get it? Landed. <laughs> Woo! All right, kids. See you next time.